Hey, how's it going? My name is Helmi from Balcony Hijau. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I compare and renew my car insurance online. One of the things that I dread the most as a car owner is that every year I have to renew the car insurance, which is really expensive. So generally speaking, the more expensive your car is, the more expensive it is to insure it. So usually in Malaysia, your car's road tax and the insurance are due on the same date. But weirdly enough, a lot of insurance companies don't bundle them together, meaning you have to buy the insurance separately from the road tax. So I have to buy the insurance and then the road tax separately on another website. So I will cover how I compare what I look for in a car insurance and what are the optional extras that I usually pick. And I'll also cover the basic insurance lingo so you know exactly what to look out for. So the entire video will be about me renewing the insurance for my four-year-old Perodua Myvi. All right, let's get started. All right, comparing car insurance online. So there's two ways to go about this. So the first option is that you can go directly to any insurance company that you know. So for example, AXA Insurance or Etika under Maybank. The second option is you can go to a comparison website. So a comparison website compiles a lot of insurance together where you can conveniently compare them on one convenient website. Now there's pros and cons to everything. So for example, if you go directly to the insurance company, most of the time I have to purchase the insurance and also renew the road tax separately on two different websites. So it's not really a big deal, but it is an extra step that you gotta do. So the pros of the comparison website, it makes your job a lot easier to compare and both of these can renew your road tax together with your insurance. The pros, however, is that they might not have all of the insurance company to compare with. So for example, both Lone Street and Policy Street don't have Etika insurance as part of their comparison. I'm gonna leave the link to all of these in the description below. Now you got a follow-up question, I'm sure. What are a good brand to pick? How much to insure my car? And which add-on protection should I get? So I'm no expert in insurance, but I've been driving for over 15 years in Malaysia, and I'm gonna be sharing with you what I usually pick. So here's what I look for in a car insurance. So the first one, it needs to be from a well-known brand. Second, the price obviously needs to be competitive. And finally, I want to purchase a car insurance from a website that's easy to navigate. I think a lot of insurance tend to be quite dry and boring, but some companies make their website very clean and easy to read, less jargon, a lot of illustration, which makes my decision making a lot easy. What optional extras do I usually get? For my 15 year driving experience in Malaysia, I think I have a cracked windscreen every two to three years or so from like a rock flying off on the highway or something like that. So personally, I would always get the windscreen protection and especially if your car has one of those safety camera right in front embedded in the windscreen, it's gonna cost you a lot more to replace than a regular windscreen. So bear that in mind. And the second optional extra that I highly recommend uh, most Malaysians to take is the extreme weather the protection especially against floods there's a lot of flooding incident in Malaysia and recently we have this giant flood that destroyed a lot of people's lives so if you were unfortunate to live somewhere where it's flood prone or you just happen to be at the wrong place at the wrong time it could be very expensive to fix a flood damaged car often it could go up to maybe half the value of the car or maybe more. So if you don't have flood damage coverage, I think personally it could ruin me financially. Adding the flood damage, in my opinion, makes a lot of sense. Okay, so those are my requirements. So I went on all these websites. It turns out that I like Etika Insurance the most because it fits all the requirement that I want. Plus, their website is the easiest to use. So I highly recommend that you pick a brand that you know and trust. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how I renew my car insurance on Etika's website step by step. On Etika's website, there's the car insurance section. I'm gonna click on that one. So under car insurance, there's gonna be two main choices. The conventional, which is the regular uh, car insurance, and the Takaful Moto Insurance, which is an Islamic car insurance. I'm no expert, but the gist of it is this. Takaful companies, they collect all these funds and insurance company, they invest it somewhere in order to be able to pay everybody back in the event of an accident. For Takaful Insurance, they would invest their funds in Sharia compliant investment. That's the main gist that I get from reading online. But besides that, the coverage is basically the same either for the conventional or the takaful. If you really want your insurance to be Sharia compliant, I think this is a no brainer. You can just pick takaful. If not, I don't think it really matters. You can pick either one over the other. So in this case, I chose takaful. All right, so in the next session, you can type in your vehicle registration number. 
So I'm gonna type mine in right here. From records, they know that uh, my car is definitely due for, for an insurance renewal. So on the right side of this page is the quotation. Now, if you never renewed your insurance before, a lot of these lingos can fly through your head real quickly. So I'm gonna try and explain to you what they mean in plain English, okay? So the first one is sum covered. So basically that is the maximum amount that they can pay you back in, an, in the event of a total loss, the maximum amount. And on the left side, you can pick between the market value or the agreed value. And in this case, the agreed value is that they increase the sum insured at the expense of your premium being a little bit higher. There's no right or wrong. You can pick whichever one that you feel is the best. I'm being a little bit stingy. I don't wanna pay that much. So I'm gonna go with the market value. So the next would be basic contribution. What that means is how much you have to pay to get the insurance coverage for your car for one year without any discounts or NCD. So in my case over here is 1,316 ringgit for my four year old car. So every year your car value will go down. So your insurance should technically go down as well because the market value of your car will go down with time. Now next, I mentioned NCD. What does that even mean? It means no claim discount. So every year when you renew your insurance and you make no claims, you can have a bigger no claim discount. So it starts at 25% for the first year of renewal, 30% for the second year, and it goes all the way up to 55% for five years and above with no claim whatsoever. So I've been driving for 15 years and I've never made a major claim. So my NCD, no claim discount, is at the maximum 55%. So now my gross contribution is 592 ringgit, which is a big discount from the original price, 1,003. So there you go. If you drive carefully and uh, if you're lucky as well, you can actually save a lot of money in the long run. Okay, now we're gonna look at the add-ons, which is on the left side of this quotation. You can read about these one by one. Most of these stuff doesn't really benefit me in my opinion, So, but I do add on the windscreen coverage that I mentioned earlier, and also the extreme weather coverage, which is the uh, protection against floods. So these are the two add-ons that I pick. So the windscreen coverage, it depends on the value of your car. Uh, for my Peridot MIV, it's only 75 ringgit more. And the extreme weather coverage for floods is only 96 ringgit more. I think this is very affordable insurance. So that bumps up my total payable from around 500 now to 750 ringgit a year. Now you're gonna take a look again at the quotation details. Make sure that this is what you want. If everything checks out, so the next thing you gotta do is click on pay now. Now I got another tip for you to save a little bit of money while shopping online is to charge this online purchase using a credit card that has benefits. So in my case, I'm using the Maybank 2 cards. And if I buy something with my Amex card on the weekends, I'm gonna get 5% cash back. So that's exactly what I did. So after purchase, you're gonna get an email confirmation and they mail me a physical copy of the insurance coverage. So I hope this video has been helpful to show you how to compare and renew your car insurance online. So check out my next video on how to renew your road tax online on a website called myeg.com. All right, so see you in the next video. Bye.